What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to like, share, subscribe, and the notification bells. I drop videos every single day. And the Lakers win the third game in a row against Houston. <laughs> My team's taking care of business against the Rockets. Um, and it's just another classic example of one of my favorite players in the league coming up small, man, and he's going to get fair criticism, and it's going to suck, but it's another year, and it looks like it's going to be another early playoff exit for my guy James Harden, who hasn't been to the finals since he was in OKC Thunder back in 2012. Um, yeah, man, James Harden, 2 of 11. He had 20 points, but that's only because he shot 20 free throws. Uh, he went 2 of 11 from the field, 1 of 6 from 3, 5 turnovers. Now, he had 10 assists, so it was, if you just look at the basic of basic, he had 20 and 10. But he had 2 of 11 from the field. 16 of those points came from free throws. So, uh, yeah, man, and you can't blame Rondo. I mean, not Rondo. You can't blame... Russell Westbrook, who shot uh, eight for sixteen at twenty-five points, I want to say. So he had a he had a solid game and didn't have that any have that many turnovers. Only three turnovers. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 gonna be bag on James Harden because James Harden plays so well during the regular season that you expect him to turn it up during the playoffs, and he just simply doesn't. Uh, he he either is is either a shell of himself or he's just. Just okay, you know, and just okay doesn't get you to the finals. Just okay gets you criticized. And when you're one of the most elite scoring guards in the history of the league, but you play a quirky way, you don't play like Kobe, you don't play like Jordan, you don't play like Iverson, you play in a style that kind of manipulates the rules, a style that has you make more free throws than field goals, people aren't going to like that. Right, so it's gonna it's easy to bag on you, and when you lose playoff series, now granted to a better team, in a system, a small ball system that was never built to work, never built to last. But you're gonna get criticism when you have performances like this, and and James, and unfortunate for James, he's had a lot of these performances throughout the years, uh, whether it was the the couple years ago against Golden State when they missed 27 in a row even though Chris Paul was hurt and then the, the a couple years before that where he just had like 10 turnovers and just throughout the years James Harden has had disappointing after disappointing playoff performance and and I'm one of the few people that try to defend him but it's hard to defend this last night James I mean you guys were down 23 points it took for Austin Rivers and Russell Westbrook to re, you know, to give you guys a fighting chance, the last couple minutes of the fourth quarter it had nothing to do with James Harden, and and that's just unfortunate. I mean, the Lakers they did what they're supposed to do. Uh, LeBron didn't have a crazy good game, but he didn't have to. Anthony Davis played forty minutes and scored twenty nine points. A uh, ten for eighteen. They can't guard him. I mean, nine made all nine of his free throws, and then you get contributions from Danny Green hitting a couple threes, Contavious Caldwell Pope hitting a couple threes, and Caruso hits a couple threes. Once you get that from the Lakers, you're gonna win a most of games. You're gonna beat pretty much anybody. And you get two threes from KCP, two threes from Caruso, and two threes from Danny Green. You're gonna win most of your games because LeBron's going to normally do what he does even though he didn't have a great game last night but Anthony Davis is going to do what he does 29 and 10 uh 29 and 12 rather so yeah man I, I hate but it's it's a bag on James Harden and now uh the Lo Rockets haven't lost the series and I'll talk about this when they do lose the series but it's like what do you do next I, I highly doubt Dan Tony comes back he's not even under contract right now so I highly doubt he comes back uh, what do you do with Harden and Westbrook? The small ball stuff, it was never meant to work. It was never built to last. Like, it, it gave you your best chance, but that meant you had no chance, right? <laughs> because the thing is about the small ball, the other teams can do it better. The Clippers can do it better with uh, the, the Kawhi, Paul George, Montrez, Lou Will, and Pat Bev. And, and the Lakers can do it better with their lineup of Morris, Anthony Davis, LeBron, Danny Green, and KCP. And you bring Rondo off the bench and Caruso off the bench and Cal Kuzma off the bench. Like, they can do it better. So, uh, I don't know what's next for the Rockets, man. I, I hate to say it, but my man James Harden is, is folding again. And, and I love James, dog, and I hate to say it, but... I mean, he, he could never be considered in the in the conversation. I mean, I know some people, obviously, it's hard to put him there because he's never won a championship. But when we talk about the greatest shooting guards of all time, Le, uh, Jordan, Kobe, ain't no way you putting James Harden over D-Wade 
with these performances in the playoffs. D-Wade led a team to a championship even without LeBron. Just is what it is. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Leave in the comments what's going on with James Harden. What will be next with the Rockets? I'll dive deep into that once they lose the series officially. But they're down 1-3 to three or 3-1 three to one or whatever, and it ain't looking good. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. I'll see you next time.